Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel, and this is Octavio OS version 5.0. You guys can see here. This is the official build available for Poco X3 slash NFC. This is the Poco X3 Indian variant. It is applicable for NFC variant too. You will ask for flashing method check in the description guys there is a dedicated group for whatsapp and there is a dedicated video for how to unlock the bootloader and how to flash the custom rom everything will be given in the description also the firmware version is also given in the description watch that video and instead of that firmware use the latest firmware whatever given in the description and rom zip file replace with this octavi os and coming back here 5th november 2023 is the latest security patch is available on this poco x3 after flashing this octavi os 5.0 kernel user is 4.14.325 cok kernel and this is the build date of november 14 and this rom build date is november 21 baseband version you can see and build number you can see this is the octavi os in this video i am going to explain everything in detail regarding this particular rom stay tuned till the end of the video guys if you have still specific questions regarding this rom after watching this video you can ask me in the comment section before that watch the video completely guys then only you can comment down in the comment section below if you still not satisfied you can join the whatsapp group which is dedicatedly available for poco x3 slash nfc and let's begin this video with a big like guys give it a like we'll start a video let's begin this video first and foremost thing i'll start with the home screen itself as you can see if you press and hold here you get a wallpaper so you get plenty of options here let me choose this for just once here as you can see this how the visual change we can expect from android 14 that's completely present here you guys can see my personal favorite is this one let me know in the comment section guys which is your favorite uh, lock screen customization i mean in the visually what you felt really interesting this how it looks actually yeah let me show back lock screen what happened here into the preview okay clock color you can adjust see if i want to make it a little bit yellow as you can see it looks different here blue yeah and size also if you want to make it smaller you can do that but i will make it big itself dynamic because we are a big channel you people are also big let's make it even bigger by subscribing my channel i hope so you people will do that uh, into the wallpaper so you just get this wallpaper and if you go into home screen again similar settings here too if you press and hold here let me go into wallpapers and now choose this live wallpaper picker no live wallpapers anyhow i have updated all the apps here that's it and this is the echo battery results many people ask about this this time i have installed long ago you guys can see here it's really really good this rom is uh, will be explaining with dialer you get simple google dialer here direct video call feature is also there and there is a call recording feature but it will announce the unknown other person who has taken your call that it will be announced get that you are recording the call but anyhow you can use some other third party applications but in the octave voice we would have been expected something a dialer with uh di i mean the call recording without announcement but anyhow it's given like this camera application you get a basic application here yeah but don't worry if you want to use advanced camera here it is this is a proper miui camera and this is the latest version of miui as you can see with leica integration you get many options in the photo mode not just in the photo mode even in the video mode as you can see uh we'll show the settings yeah as you can see you can even choose the hdr in videos and audio zoom feature everything are really working that's what i was surprised in this particular rom uh this is the camera application you, you can see loaded with the features that's pre-installed in this particular octave os 5.0 what else you need fm radio it's also going to work fine here uh, minus one screen is simply not there in this particular room but don't worry you'll get better applications here and yeah safety and status what about it 
it will get passed yes it will get passed you can use it as a daily driver in terms of using uh, google pay phone pay you know sb whatever app you want to use you can use it out guys no problem i have done tons of tons of transactions in custom roms i have never faced any problem don't worry about that just secure yourself with passwords and other things don't share your passwords and your uh, mobile number to whoever you want just use it as much as secured passwords and all then you will never face any problems guys even if it is in custom rom or in any uh, stock rom whatever it is you need to be very much careful regarding that yeah moving into gig bench scores is it in the memory no what is in the memory and to the benchmark score yes 3,85,696 is the score what i got on 2.5 degree celsius is the temperature uh, not rise this time it was low actually and three percentage of battery has been dropped which is quite good here currently we are facing a winter season here in india but it might differ hence the percentage drop is sorry the temperature drop we can see here during this entire testing it lost about three percentage which is quite good the scores are also good enough here but i would have expected around four lakhs since it's an android 14 first from available for this boko xc i am really excited you people must also be the same i think already you have flashed this rom and using this rom i hope so let's say in the comment section guys you should mention these kind of things such that i can understand better and dear information level one certification no need to worry guys you can play hd i mean high definition videos in this particular room. what i didn't get is the this one clock widgets just tap and hold here as you can see it is getting forced close for some reason the widget section could have been changed but anyhow if i can wait for one day and update all the apps currently i update every app but wait for one day it might get fixed what i can say apart from that I nothing i can say here and the launcher uses quick step launcher as you guys already know about that notification dots all the things as you can see you can do that bubbles and other things it's a quick step launcher it's not an evox launcher or any pixel launcher yeah that's how it is apps and settings i have explained but cpu throttling test results and all we'll see that will be going into the screenshot images yeah yeah, i took some photograph you were using that uh, mirror camera this is my dog actually it's quite good one with portrait mode and other without portrait mode it is quite good uh, but i can't tell completely once you use it for several time then you can understand the camera quality but it is going to be good and single score is 749 guess and 1840 is the multi score and linux 4.14.325 cok a 64 bit kernel has been used android version is 14 this is a big thing for us for poco x3 finally we are into that android 14 hey not just that i want to show this one cpu throttling results too yeah this is 100 test run for 15 minutes and this is the score what i get very good score what you guys can say let me know in the comment section guys again maximum is 204 average is 193 minimum is 158 and it's throttled to 87 percent of its max performance see the graph guys take a screenshot and as you can see it's for 15 minutes yeah take a screenshot of this i think you will never get the same result for any android 14 roms if it if it if we can get then it would be better rom than this what i can say that's it but don't believe in just these results use it a smartphone day to day then you can come into desirement and that's how it is and this is the settings you get very very smooth yeah how could i forget the quick settings panel this is the quick settings panel where are the other toggles select the edit section and drag this mic axis camera axis no i want to keep mic axis adjacent to camera yeah then find location it's turned on battery life is training extra dim do you want that you can add that too yeah extra dim is given why don't we add dark theme here yeah you should add sync option is missing here but refresh up refresh rate option is given let me drag that too guys yeah this is how you can utilize this quick settings panel let me disable this location simply it will drain the battery if i'm 
not able to use that why should i turn it on isn't it guys similar to this refresh rate 60 to 90 no 60 to 120 no 90 to 120 no 120 this is what we required it's in 2023 and the model is almost two years old now you should use it in 120 hertz and utilize the full benefit of this smooth display yes definitely and this is the settings panel as i was speaking is it smooth even the quick settings panel is also very smooth you get this kind of uh notification i mean the animation here auto rotated as you can see it will get rotated these were there yeah but it has been revamped a little bit and app active status you can see from here uh, the animations are a little bit cooler compared to android 13 i have used plenty of devices with android 14 but it's my duty to explain again to you guys regarding android 14 visual changes into the hood you get status bar customizations here you guys can see nothing fancy here which is quite similar quick settings again you don't get anything notifications annoying notifications you can enable that octavi theming is still in the working condition they will update it very soon volume panel again nothing they will update it very soon navigation menu you get these two options gestures you can do these things and power menu there is an advanced restart button which you can enable or disable from here lock screen again you get these options and miscellaneous settings unlock high fps in games yes you will see the bgmi gameplay why are you waiting wait till the end of the video you will be seeing that and unlimited photo storage for google photos is also available these are the uh, customization still they need to add some of them but as of now i think it's a very good thing now moving into the actual settings guys you get network and internet and the cast screen is also working fine no problem regarding that too apps you get this kind of options special app access is also given and full screen notifications wi-fi control vr helper you guys go through this once you flash the rom you go through each and every option it is much necessary once you utilize them you will be happy with that and notifications again bubbles enhanced notifications you get that battery yeah battery usage you can see guys the battery life is going to be excellent because of the kernel is very old 4.14 kind of thing which will make you a huge difference and you can see quick step launcher and some of the apps whatever i was using from long six hours now it's good the rom battery life is good but not the excellent but wait for some of more builds but as of now if you're looking for android 14 builds if you don't flash this you are making something bad to yourself just go and flash this guys it's going to be make better better user experience android 14 you must try and then that too if you are a kind of this stock type roms then go to this octavius os because guys this is the only one available for poco x3 slash nfc and these are the sound and vibration settings nothing fancy or anything here vibration and haptics for individual things you can enable or disable from here display settings again it's quite similar to what i expect use dark theme which is not in the pitch black condition they have not given any option to this and minimum maximum we have kept it to 120 in the quick settings panel if you want to change it here you can do the tap to wake is it working it is working and this is the lock screen what i chose fingerprint unlock will show you within a while wallpaper and style again it will revert back to these settings you get these kind of options uh, shortcuts you get it where is the option of this thing upgrade is given but where are the options of uh, to make this icons themed one themed icons is missing in this particular rom that you need to keep in mind guys we'll go back to settings again accessibility menu again it is going to be a loaded feature just go into accessibility menu enable this without actually using the physical buttons you guys understood without actually using the physical buttons you can actually access the volume up and down button even brightness down and high also you can do it from here which is a handy feature isn't it guys let me know in the comment section that too you should interact with me then it will be a big thing for me that i can upload some more videos regarding poco x3 flash notifications again it is also given plenty of things in the accessibility menu once you flash the rom you can enable or disable from these of the things bold text it will be a little bit bolder display size you can increase now you can see quick settings panel is a little bit bigger in size everything will be in bigger font size also you can increase or decrease from here 
second time privacy is there any face unlock you should wait for that as of now you only get this fingerprint unlock let me show you that as you can see is it faster what you guys can see i have made print of videos you people just decided i think it is 90 percent faster but it's not as much faster in android 13 make sure you wait for it you might happy with this and location again google maps i have been using that as you can see all the things are working fine in this room no need to worry about any of the things basic things like headphone jack and earphone i mean the stereo speaker sound everything is fine no problem have face but you will get this xiaomi parts ambient display many people like this because we don't get any notification led here we will get but ambient display if you want you can enable that you get these kind of options here app refresh rate per app you can choose from here display calibration turn it on and adjust the rgb strength minimum saturation i want 36 little bit saturated value contrast hue you can customize them cabc mode don't use this please don't use it your device will be getting more heat here automatic hbm don't use it use me sound enhancer definitely use it if you want it choose headphone type you can choose the headphone type and a preset and also select the scene from here clear speaker option given haptic strength of the feedback you will get this here you need to go into the xiaomi parts thermal profile and game board here also you can individually choose here as you can see you can choose the particular app battery information you get plenty of options here voltage health cycle count charging current limit charging temperature original charger not connected yes i have not connected but 33 watt charging support is present in this particular rom this is how the rom guys battery information you might wondered how it is uh, capacity and other things are varying and this is 4900 4, mh it's not true because this is a 6000 mh battery guys this is the only one thing where this failed to show the actual results but anyhow these are the settings and xiaomi parts and into the system into the gestures swipe to three finger screenshot enable that one handed mode just enabled already swipe it like this it's a little bit difficult why because into the navigation mode gesture navigation there are no option to increase the gesture bar length and even the radius of it because of it it's a little bit difficult to utilize in one handed mode these are the settings and these are the recent apps what i used i think i've explained everything the ui is really smooth based on android 14 fingerprint unlock could have been faster but it is not that faster but it's still usable what i guess uh, what i can say about this what you people say let me know in the comment section and we'll see the bgma what all the graphic settings you get and how it will handle in this particular rom hello see this is the fps you get up to 90 fps is given what i recommend to play with extreme if you are a hardcore gamer then go with 90 fps yeah you should definitely utilize the high refresh rate see the panning around how smooth the interface in the game the game update also makes huge difference guys and here the game update and this uh, octavius 5.0 together and with that high refresh rate 90 fs everything is uh, really really good it is going to handle a uh, very good here uh, as you can see as you can see it's quite fast ui is really really smooth as you can see i can able to get some kills here <laughs> my dog is making a little bit sound guys uh, sorry for annoying that but the gameplay is smooth here that's what my intention here and this is the octavio is 5.5.0 for poco x3 slash nfc hope you guys like this video if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button too i'll be making similar kind of videos guys i i recommend you to join the poco x3 whatsapp group and like this video that's it guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now